You're now tuned in to Kobe's Universe since you're just sitting on your rainers. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. Rap legend Ice T says, being a rapper is the most dangerous occupation. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up that video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Please check out new album reviews from 25th anniversary Tupac Machiavelli and Mob Deep's Hell on Earth in the album review playlist. So Ice T said this on Twitter. When I was coming up, being a drug dealer was the most dangerous occupation. Now it seems like being a rapper is shaking my head, no cap. All right, we're about to talk about this um, and speak on it. So in the 80s, crack epidemic, being a drug dealer, <laughs> you can die easily because being a drug dealer, you were a gangster at the same time because you had to have a heat on you. You couldn't be stupid out there. And... Even when a person like Ice-T was actually giving you his street accounts of gang banging, gang culture, colors, you know, cop killer, all that type of stuff was more of just his, his accounts. Now, the evolution of hip hop, excuse me, well, rap has took it to another level. Now we have social media. Now you have people out here showing that, hey, this is how hard they are and they doing too much. Yes, let me go back a little. Yes, we lost Tupac. Yes, we lost Biggie in the 90s. Don't get me wrong. I'm never going to take that away. That did hurt everybody. Now, where we at? Let's go to the 2000s. People, we started to get MySpace. <laughs> you like, damn, MySpace. Facebook. What was after Facebook? Twitter, right? Yeah, Twitter. Then you got the Instagram, then the Snapchat, then the TikTok, then the YouTube. You have all this going on. So a plethora of platforms that actually are all over the place. People are posting how many guns they got on tape, you know, as far as their, their content, showing them sell drugs, their money, the ass, and all that is in a combination of rappers still going back to their hoods, their sets, the projects, where they grew up from, you know, their home, you know, the city. And when you put all that in like a, a melting pot, what that becomes, you become the biggest target ever. Now, don't get me wrong. When you make certain type of music that's actually appealing to the crowd, like if you think about a Big Daddy Kang, a Wu Tang, Nas, the Alcoholics, you know, I'm just naming rappers from the 90s. They're not looking for danger as far as like, yeah, come fight me. No. But when you become to the level of I'm the hardest person now here and you talking about gang banging, you talking about being a, a gangster, a 50 cent, a, the game. Who else we got out here at this time that's probably putting they self out there on that limb? Jeezy in the 2000s. I'm only calling how I see it. You know, then you get to the 2010s, you know, who we got now? We got YG. He, um, he almost got beat up him and his um homies from Treetop High Roo in San Diego by some Crips because the Crip, you know, um, Population out there in San Diego is is very deep, and they came to a show. That you can, if you don't believe me, you can check it out actually on um on YouTube. Just put YG concert versus Crips, and it will come up. That is dangerous. Schoolboy Q from Hoover out here in Los Angeles, California, got shot by somebody in the crowd in 2014 in Denver, Colorado. YG got shot in his car. You know what I'm saying? We can keep going down the list, but when you speak that lifestyle into existence, no disrespect, Nipsey Hussle passed away, died, King Von. Look at young um, Dolph now, he's passed away. 
it, it, it can happen. Vinny Siegel has been shot before. Um, Oskino State Property was shot. You know, these things are real. Like, you can't even say this stuff is, like, made up. Like, people are actually can die. But I feel like when you have rappers like a J. Cole, a Kendrick Lamar, a Lupe Fiasco, a Royce the Five Nine, they're not having problems like these other rappers are having problems because they're not looking for that attention to say that I'm the hardest MF out here. I love Benny the Butcher. You saw what happened to him. He got shot last year in Texas. Conway the Machine was robbed. He was robbed, y'all, at his show in Atlanta. It happens, man, because you're still throwing yourself out there like that. Somebody want to test you. Think about boxing, MMA. When you know you the shit and you moving up in the ranks and you feel like you invincible, you untouchable, there's somebody else that's going to come and see what you about and are you really about that life. Now, is there a solution for rappers not being a target? Not having having been the most dangerous occupation, yes and no. When I say no, there's no right or wrong answer. When I say yes, this is my opinion. I believe that you can still help your hood, you can still invest in your hood, you can still love your people, but you can't risk your life and well being and everything that's laid up on you that you worked hard for by hanging out, smoking, drinking. You can still give give back to your hood, but you don't got to be right there. You What you got to prove. But somebody's going to say, but Kofi, that's where you grew up at. Why are you scared to go back? It's not about scared to go back. Sometimes it's best to close a chapter and open up another one. Look at Nipsey Hussle. He, he was hanging out in his hood. And he saw how he died. Look at Big L. He died. Look at Jam Master J. Like all these people. <laughs> Even if you're just going to visit your parents, you can still get killed. You know what I'm saying? Like shit happens. It's it's not don't it's not saying like I'm never going over there. You got to be strategic. You got to know how to actually navigate when you're moving. Like this is not no I do what I want to do in our freestyle life. No, you got to actually have a plan of everything you're doing. I feel like as far as evolution, you should know a different way how you want to move. The music you put out is like speaking everything into existence. So when you saying you the baddest MF out there. And nobody can't stop you, but well, that's what's gonna happen. If you saying, I just want to talk about lyrics and rhymes, and I want my I wanna, you know, uplift my people, well, you're gonna get a different result. Let me know how y'all feel and think in the comment section. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Bimbo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.